what's up guys Katie here welcome back to my YouTube channel I'm trying to do a lot better with my or I guess just posting videos for you guys about whatever it may be um, I've been kind of going through the motion of figuring out my art business creating new things getting mural um, commission done and stuff like that so I guess while I'm in that process, I might as well be making more videos uh, in case you guys are also going through the, the motions of figuring out all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I wanted to show y'all um, the mural that I completed earlier this week. Sorry about my hair. I just got off work and I just <laughs> didn't feel like taking it out before making this video. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I did a mural this past week for um, a local hair salon in Austin and it was really fun it was the biggest mural i've done so far uh but yeah i kind of wanted to show you guys the process um of how i did it step by step but um yeah keep watching all right so to begin my mural process um i have um the procreate app for the ipad and i literally just got the cheapest ipad that you could possibly get from costco uh, while still being able to use Apple Pencil and I got that for I think somewhere around like $300 um, So it wasn't that bad and the procreate app is only ten bucks and it'll, it'll always be ten dollars And with that you get everything so I pretty much just used it to lay out um, The mural I took a picture of the actual wall space that I was going to be um, painting and I kind of just did a bunch of different um, concept art pieces just so I could show my client what was possible for the wall. Once the client settled on a design, then we decided on a date for me to start painting and we got right to it. All right guys, so I actually forgot to do the time-lapse video for um, the beginning of the entire process. My bad, I was kind of caught up with everything, but when I got there, I essentially took tape and um, I looked at the reference picture that I had um, as the concept art for the client and I pretty much just eyed where I wanted the bottom of the mural to begin and um, the top of it to begin just because I chose um, racing stripes as you can see. So I started with the bottom for the tape and then just went uh, line by line. Oh wait, no, I did the very bottom and the very top and then I just kind of pieced it all equally in the middle, um, row by row. But yeah, so you can see there, all that was taped down. It took me a long time, honestly, just because to get tape to curve, you literally just have to take a bunch of smaller pieces. They were all about two to three feet each and just kind of like, hold one end and kind of guide it into a curve motion. Uh, so yeah, that kind of took some trial and error. Since this mural was completely different from any other piece that I've done in the past or any mural I've done in the past, I kind of had to switch up my technique. So usually I would do, um, I have done more like floral pieces or whatever where I can use regular acrylic paint and kind of do like highlights and shadows and all that stuff. For this one, since it was gonna be in a public space um, on just regular walls and um, you know, I knew exactly what colors uh, I was going to need anyway, I ended up just going straight to Walmart and um, color matching each of the colors that I had on my iPad to whatever you know color strips they had there. And then I got a gallon of each color I now realize that was way too much, but they only had quarts or they had gallons and the gallons were only like four bucks more. So for my first time, whatever, I know now in the future, a quart is just enough. That's all you need, even if it's huge like this. But anyway, so yeah, I just got um, regular paints from Walmart, got all the rollers, brushes, all the supplies I needed to do this. Um, the salon did provide like the ladder that you see in the video, so that was good. Back to the painting, I had to do several coats, especially with the oranges and the yellow, just because with the white background, uh, you could kind of see the stroke marks and um, it just became a little transparent. So it was good to go over with um, the roller two to three times with each color. Once each color was layered enough to get like a solid look, I took all of the tape off. 
I took a regular brush instead of a roller and I filled in all of the white spaces that the tape left behind and once those dried, I did another coat before taking the roller once again and just went over that new line and what was painted first uh, just so it, it could kind of look like they were both painted at the same time and there was no tape there. After everything was dry, I kind of just took a step back, looked at the entire mural as a whole, and just went back in with one paintbrush and kind of touched everything up. The edges um, made whatever needed to be more curvy, more curvy, whatever needed to be flattened out, flattened out. Uh, I went in with white and, you know, covered up all the flaws, and that was pretty much it. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I had so much fun during the mural. Like, I am still so like blown away that I keep getting these crazy opportunities in Austin um, to do things like this. But uh, yeah, so if you like this video and you want to see more, definitely give me a like, uh, a thumbs up, whatever. But definitely subscribe because I am going to start making a lot more videos in the near future. So stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye!